Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode as we embark on our journey through the Bible. Today we focus on a important moment in the life of Abraham found in Genesis chapter 15 verse 1 to 21 and how the nation of Israel came into picture. In this passage, the Lord appears to Abraham in a vision and Abraham has a conversation with God. He questions God how the promises he made during his call would come to be. He did not have children of his own. How would God make him into a great nation if he was childless? Can we trust God even when we cannot see the big picture and do not know how he is working? God responds to Abraham and tells him that he will bless him with a son and many many descendants. This is what the Bible says in verse 4 and 5. Then the word of the Lord came to him. This man will not be your heir, but a son who is your own flesh and blood will be your heir. He took him outside and said, "Look up to the sky and count the stars, if indeed you can count them." Then he said to him, "So shall your offspring be." How was this promise fulfilled then? God blessed Abraham and his old wife Sarah with a son, Isaac. And when Isaac was of age, he married a beautiful woman named Rebekah. Remember that beautiful story of how he got Rebekah? God works in ways beyond our imagination. Rebekah and Isaac grew old and had two sons, Jacob and Esau. And later Jacob became Israel. And the story continues. Jacob, now Israel, gets 12 sons. Who at some point together with him travel to Egypt due to drought in the land. These 12 sons of Jacob, or rather Israel, are the 12 tribes of Israel, the chosen nation. But you know that God had actually told Abraham about the slavery of the children of Israel. Chapter 15 and verse 13 says, Then the Lord said to him, Know for certain that for, for 400 years your descendants will be strangers in a country not their own, and that they will be enslaved and mistreated there. But I will punish the nation they will serve as slaves, and afterward they will come out with great possessions. You, however, will go to your ancestors in peace and be buried in a good old age. In the fourth generation, your descendants will come back here, for the sin of the Amorites has not yet reached its full measure. Now tomorrow we get to hear the story of the great rescue how God moved the children of Israel from Egypt to the promised land